What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mafex Amazing Spider-Man Carnage. And so here we have the Mafex Carnage posed and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories because this Carnage does come with a lot. For starters, he does come with three different head sculpts. We do get the Carnage head where the mouth is slightly opened. We do get the Carnage mouth where the mouth is completely open. And then we do get an unmasked Cletus Cassidy head which looks really nice. Not as sadistic, but nice. He also comes with several different types of hands. We do get a pair of fists. We get a pair of clawing hands. We get a pair of grip hands. We get a pair of hands where he's pinching something. We get a pair of splayed open hands. We do get a pair of hands with magnets in them. We get a pair of hands where some symbiote is reaching out from the fingers. We get a pair of bladed hands. We get a pair of hands where the symbiote is forming spikes out of them. We do get a right scythe hand. Then we do get a left hammer hand. And then we also do get the magnetic feet, which are interchangeable here on Carnage. We do get a set of tendrils that do attach to his arms to make it look like the symbiote is coming out of his arms and then we do get one long tendril that can shoot out of his arm other than that Carnage doesn't come with anything else I don't know what more you would want out of this figure he comes with quite a bit so I do like that so with that out of the way guys let's actually move on to his details and so here we have a closer look at the Mafex Carnage and I think Metacom has done a really, really good job with this figure. There are some things I don't like about it, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But for starters, we'll have a look at this head and then we'll talk about another head that I'm not a fan of. This is probably my favorite head sculpt that came on this figure. Normally, I like Carnage with his mouth open, but they did give us a head where his mouth is open. Now, unfortunately, they didn't sculpt his teeth and it's just one solid piece of plastic now from the front it does look okay but from the side it looks like he's chewing bubble gum that is not the best I would have liked it if there was some depth to that so if there was a cavity there I don't know why they didn't do it they kind of did it right here and it still looks nice don't understand why they didn't give us the full open mouth carnage where that was supposed to be an empty cavity instead it looks like he's chewing bubble gum but still liking the overall figure. Really do like the sculpt of the eyes. Just look at how sinister that looks. It's very sinister and compared to Venom and Spider-Man's eyes, you can see this one does have more jagged edges to it. It looks really nice. You can see his teeth are nicely sculpted. Very, very nice image for the figure. Then on the back of the head, we do have his symbiote going all throughout the character and one thing I do like about this figure is that everything you see on him is sculpted detail it's not just painted on detail all the black is actually sculpted on yeah there are some spots where the black doesn't actually stay on the mold but it's not that big a deal because it's very slight and minuscule and it's not something that you're gonna point out every time you see it it just looks really nice how it's just all over the figure and this really does have comic book vibes to it this looks like a very good comic book carnage and that's pretty much what i was looking for carnage to go on my comic book shelf and he'll look great next to the mafex venom and spider-man really liking all this detailing on him all that sculpted work looks great even all the way down to his hands now one issue i do have and this is an issue everybody's had there's really no work around it his joints the joints are just red they don't have any sculpted detailing on them unfortunately and I do understand why they did it that way but at least paint some detailing right there. I would have been okay if they just painted the symbiote on his elbows that would be perfectly fine because that's not gonna scratch but yeah some added detailing right there on the black would look nice now that is a hinge right there so you don't want to apply paint there but right here on his knees they could have added something like it's kind of weird seeing all this really nice symbiote and this carnage throughout his body and then we get to his knees and his knees are clean and then his shins continue the carnage and that's kind of weird even in the ankles but at least the ankles you can kind of hide those by moving the joint so that's not too big of an issue I know a lot of people's issues with this figure are mainly the joints and the bubblegum head 
but overall this is a very fantastic carnage and i know a lot of people like carnage having a bunch of tendrils coming off of them so you would have like thousands of these just hanging off of them that's good for a modern day carnage this is a first appearance carnage where he was a little more sleek he still had the tendrils coming out of his arms which he does come with those if you really want him to have the tendrils you can just go ahead and slide those on and then we do have those tendrils coming off of his torso so that looks really nice and again this is supposed to be a first appearance carnage so i do understand why he's a little more sleeker a little more slim i think it works for the figure and overall he is very well done so with that out of the way guys let's actually get him compared to other figures you may have in your collection and so here we have carnage posed next to a marvel legend cyclops and a dc multiverse superman here we have Carnage posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure in a Mezco 112 Collective, Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Carnage posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger in a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And for one final comparison, here we do have the Mafex Carnage posed next to the Mafex Spider-Man and the Mafex Venom. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to Carnage's articulation. Now for Carnage, we do have a double ball joint in the head so he can look up quite a bit. He can also look down a little bit. Now, the way his double ball joint is, it's kind of uh, bent right there. As you can see, Mafex is doing that. If you want to have him with a little more downward movement, you can rotate that joint. And you can see he gets much better downward movement. And then you are limited going up. Me, personally, I would rather have more upward mobility just because it does help the figure a little bit. And because he does have a ball joint here at the neck, you can actually get him to look down. So it's really not that big a deal. I just would have preferred a straight joint for that, but it still works either way. And of course his head does turn left and right. And with both of those joints, he gets a lot of movement out of the head. That is something you want out of a Carnage figure. Now he does have a butterfly joint here at the shoulder. Now the way I think it is, it's a pin on a ball joint on a or it's a pin on a ball hinge in a ball socket and the reason i think that is because he has some really fantastic movement going forward and back and that's obviously a pin but he also does pivot forward up and down like venom did so that makes me believe that he's on some type of hinge right there but then he's also on a ball socket right here in the arm so that does move around nicely. So we get a lot of range out of Carnage's arms and that's something I really do like. You can actually get his arms back quite a bit. They come forward really nicely, go up, down, all the way around, out to the side, no problem. He does have swivel at the bicep. We do have a double bend here at the wrist. He has a swivel and hinge at the wrist. And you can have an in and out hinge or an up and down hinge, so I do like that. I believe he has a single ball joint here at the torso. It might be a double ball joint, I need to see. Yeah, up there, there is a ball joint there, so there's a ball joint there. So he has a dumbbell joint here in his torso, and that works really nicely. You can actually pivot him side to side. That rotates really good, leans back, leans forward, better than he goes back and then at the waist he does lean to the side lean to the other side rotates forward crunch backward crunch he's really flexible i really do like that uh, his hips are on hinge ball joints so they do drop down not a lot they're probably the shallowest drop down that we've seen on mafex in a long time but his legs do go out to about right there they go back out to the side pretty respectable for carnage we do have thigh swivel, although it is pretty tight in there, so you're not going to get too much movement unless you rotate some things around, so be aware of that. He has a double bend at the knee. Again, kind of strange seeing just red right there. He has a ball hinge here at the foot, so it does rotate left and right. does hinge up and down, and you can pull that off to give him the magnetic feet. And then, of course, we do have forward-facing pin for rocker ankle, and then we have a toe hinge although it's not the best we've seen it is something so carnage here has a lot of articulation and i really do like that it really works for the character so with that out of the way guys let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review and so here we have the medicom mafex carnage pose for my final thoughts 
And overall, this is a fantastic figure. I know there's a lot of people that don't like the way this figure's head came out, especially the open mouth head, because it kind of looks like he's chewing bubblegum. His mouth is full of bubblegum, and that's why his mouth is filled with that pink void. Uh, that's a little bit of an oversight by Mafex. I know they can do a little bit better, and I'm honestly not turned off by this figure because of that. Mainly because of everything else that we get with this figure is fantastic. We have not gotten a Carnage figure that comes with as much as this figure does. And the amount of display options you have for this guy is insane. We got spikes, we have blades, we have sides, we have hammers, we have claws, we have everything you would need to have a very vicious looking Carnage. And I absolutely love it. Now again, a lot of people when they think Carnage, they see the symbiote alive and moving around. That's more of a modern day adaptation of Carnage when he was first introduced. He still had that living symbiotic feel to it, but he didn't have as many tendrils coming off of him. He did have some, but not as much as it is in modern day comics. And I think this figure perfectly captures that look from the early comics. Carnage here is a fantastic figure with detailing very, very well done by Medicom and the amount of articulation he has works for the figure. The only problem with this figure is the price point. If you got this figure domestically, you are paying $100 for this figure. If you had them imported, you did pay $70 plus whatever you did in shipping. Thankfully, I did get my Carnage off Hobby Link Japan, which I only paid about $72, $75 for Carnage. And because I did get him shipped with several other figures, the shipping only came out to about $5, so I'm pretty okay with that. If I were to have shipped him by himself, that would still be a $90 purchase. So depending on how you look at it, I think this is a very, very well done figure by Medicom. If you are looking to pick him up, unfortunately he is sold out most places domestically, but he is still relatively cheap. You can still get this Carnage for around $100 off eBay, and that's if you find a really good seller. There are some people asking $200 for him, but he's still out in the market somewhere, so if you can find a good deal for Carnage, I really recommend you do so. He's a fantastic looking character, and he'll look great in any Marvel display. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other Mayfix and Marvel videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it fits in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time guys, I'll see you later. Take care everyone.